4 cores is needed for modern gaming and 6 core is unnecessary, especially if you use hybrid threading. This is a myth going around in the PC gaming community for some years now, but is it true? We already know 2 cores and 4 cores compared, the 4 cores perform way better. But 6 cores is getting more mainstream with the Ryzen CPUs and the upcoming Intel Coffee Lake. I trusted 3 games and 3 Mark. the games are Just Cause 3, Grand Theft Auto 5, Counter Strike, Global Offensive and the Time Spy Benchmark. Just Cause 3 and GTA 5 are both open world games with pretty complex graphics and CSGO is there to see if there is a difference in eSport titles. In GTA 5 I played the mission Franklin and Lamar to have the most game like benchmark and in Just Cause 3 I ran around in the same city blowing stuff up and flying around in my wingsuit. In CSGO I played 2 rounds of overpass against bots. All of my CPU cores were set to 3.7 GHz. And now let's get right into the benchmarks. The results were a bit surprising to me, with only GTA 5 greatly benefiting from all 6 cores, and Just Cause 3 only chased drastically in the minimum FPS, with hyper threading enabled and 6 cores. The eSport title CSGO only saw a small FPS increase of 10 to 15, if you use all 6 cores instead of 4. Hyper threading didn't make any difference. What does this mean if you have a Ryzen CPU with 6 cores and probably also a Intel CPU with 6 cores, for gaming hyper-threading won't make a big difference. The core count itself does make a difference, seen in pretty much all games performed better in the 6 cores. Some games like Just Cause 3 do have better minimum FPS if you look at hyper-threading, but the average was still around the same. Also, do you like this way of benchmarking with music in the background while the results are showing, or do you prefer me talking over it? Let me know in the top right corner or down in the comments below.